In this video, I'm going to share with you about recoding continuous data. Yeah, so what do you mean by recoding continuous data over here? So let me give you some insights first. For example, yeah, let's say I've collected data, okay, and this data is for age, okay, and you have collected continuous data where you have asked your respondent to give you their exact age. Yeah, so your respondents have given you the age 18, 34, 45, 46, and so on. But now what you want to do is that you want to group them, okay, according to groups and you want to code them, yeah? For example, for code number one, you want to group everyone, okay? Those who are in the age of 15 to 20, and then you want to code number two, yeah? A group of people who are in the age of 21 to 25, yeah? So technically, you are grouping them, yeah? Into a certain specified group. So we can do this thing in SPSS where if you have collected continuous data, you can actually group them up, yeah? So how to do it? I'll show you using SPSS. So what you have to do, you go to transform, you go into recode into different variable. Yeah. And why we have chosen different variable? Because we want our earlier variable to still remain there. Yeah. We don't want that particular variable to be overlapped and we still want the variable to be remained in the data stream here. Yeah. So what I will do, I'll select H. So I will name the output here. So we will give it a new name, which is age group. Yeah, age group. And the label will be respondents age. I'll go to the old and new values. So over here, what we are going to do, we have the old values here and we have the new values. So you will tick at the section range here. Yeah, so you will set your range here. So you want those within the age of 15 to let's say 25. Yeah, we give them a range here. So we want the value to be one. Okay, so you click add. Then the second range will be 26 through 35. Okay, and the value is going to be two. You click on add. And then the second range here is going to be 36 to 45. Okay, so this will be 3. We add. And the following one is going to be 46 right up to 55. And this will be 4. We add. Now, for the last one, okay, we will tick here range value through the highest yeah so this one will be yeah those in the age of 56 and above we will give it okay a value five yeah so we add so we have already created all the range over here we go to continue now in the section continue what you have to do is that you see you can't click your okay here because first you need to click on change yeah, once you have tick on change, then you can click on OK. Yeah, if you go into your data and you go to variable view, can you see there is already a new variable here, which is age group. But now what you have to do is you have to go to the section here where they say values and you have to create again the value labels where remember just now if it's one, okay, the range is going to be between 15 to 25 years you add and last one which is number five it will be 56 years and above we add yeah so we have recreate all our range here 15 to 25 26 to 35 36 to 45 46 to 55 and 56 years and above so what you do is that you click okay right so i just want to change here yeah to there's no decimal points yeah so that's why if you go back here now you will see there's no more decimal points really yeah so now what we have done is that we have now actually created a range where what we have done now we have actually recorded the continuous data into a categorical data yeah so they are in categories now so this is what we can do and let's go to our data view okay if you go to data view 
let's go to the last column here. Can you see your age group here? Can you see they have actually now already grouped the age yeah, according to the range that we created earlier.